Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here, coming at you with episode 374 of my TTML day. I have uh, quite a few things to show you, so it's a great Monday. I'm going to start it off with actually an 8x10. Normally I save those for the end, but uh, got one basketball return here. It's an email success from the Cincinnati uh, Bearcats. Uh, this is head women's basketball coach, Jamil uh, Jamel Elliott. Um, not preprint, and it doesn't look like auto pen, but I'm not 100% sure. But you know, email success. I'm very happy to add it. Um, free autograph, and uh, came back in great shape. Mail, so it didn't get bent. So I'm always happy with that. I uh, got one football return that's been out uh, since July. Um, former Eagles uh, player and uh, it's kind of funny <laughs> uh, Steve Zabel uh, I just noticed this he he inscribed it to me and Sean Hewick <laughs> with best wishes so uh, because I mentioned that uh, Sean makes these customs so that's kind of that's kind of cool so Steve Zabel. Um, I don't remember sending that out, but apparently I did. I <laughs> uh, got some baseball here. Got Roman, also known as Ray Semprock of the Philadelphia Phillies. Right there. He signed. Right there in blue. So pretty cool. Former Reds pitcher, Wayne Granger. That's a 69 tops that it blew up to 4x6. Uh, I believe this guy is the father or uncle of uh, former Giants closer Rob Nen. So he signed this uh, Hugh Graff signature card. This is Dick Nen, played for the Dodgers. And uh, there's a photo of him there signed in pen right above that Dodgers pennant. So pretty sweet. Uh, we'll have a uh, request going out to Rob Nen here uh, probably tomorrow. Next up, got former outfielder and infielder, Twins and Athletics, Joe Nosick. It's a 66 tops there that I blew up. And a 69 tops that I blew up. So, nice signature and a nice success, like getting the old vintage players. Um, former, I believe he played for the Phillies, uh, Angels, Cubs, and maybe a few, a few other teams. He's been signed pretty quickly lately. Lee Thomas. That's a 67 top side blew up. There with the Cubs. Later on in his career with the Angels. So, that's a really nice looking photo. That's for the baseball. Got, uh, three hockey here. Two of them are from the 1980 Miracle on Ice team. Got a, actually this is pretty cool, a shout out to Andy Summers who I'll put his channel below. Gets a lot of really nice TTMs in. Uh, I see a lot of them on Facebook and stuff. And uh, he does do a little bit of YouTube. I've been trying to get more active into it. So you guys can go check him out. Please do. He's got uh, tons of recaps there. You can watch his old videos until he uploads a new one. So a uh, real cool guy. Um, gets in a ton of stuff. I uh, got this idea from him. He, This guy is about 96 years old. He was the doctor on the team. Uh, and he is portrayed in the movie. Uh, this is George Nagobads. And he's signed right along here in the left edge. So I couldn't find a photo actually of him at the time. So I sent uh, the team celebrating their win. thought that would be uh, definitely cool. And uh, he also wrote me a little note. So two signatures technically, so that's really awesome. And then got a former player from the 1980 team. Uh, also went on to play in the NHL. Dave Christian. He signed actually a lot quicker than other people get him back, so I was real surprised. That one's with the Capitals. And uh, this is from the Olympics. I don't remember printing this photo out though, so I don't know if he sent this, or I do, I really don't remember. Oh, they're diving 
Looks like against Vladislav Tretiak, maybe. I know that's somebody else. Uh, start a line and a, maybe Spain or something. I don't know. I don't know who other teams they played that year. Still really cool. And final one, the Ghost, Steve Casper from the Boston Bruins. Steve, the Ghost Casper. So Casper the Ghost. So pretty sweet. He's a pretty good signer. And final two, uh, actor Robert Forster. There, signed in blue. This old black and white photo. Pretty sweet. Couldn't find any current photos of him that would uh, come out decently. Um, he also signed this one, and he circled his face there from Delta Force. Really wish uh, Chuck Norris and would sign, and if Lee Marvin was still alive, I'd definitely try to send him. So I'm pretty sure that's probably not, uh, definitely not auto pen, because obviously no one's going to circle their face <laughs> with an auto pen. Um, probably not Secretary either, so that's pretty cool. I don't think they do that, but who knows? Really sweet that that. And then uh, sent to great singer. He's got a beautiful voice. Um, very funny talking voice that he's well known for. A lot of people don't know that he's a really good singer. Uh, sent back one of his own pre-signed photos. It's not pre-print. It's not auto pen. Because um, you can see, I mean, definitely signed it. it. Kind of started rubbing off, which definitely affirms that it's not pre-print for sure. Uh, Jim Neighbors, really awesome. So this is there from the Andy Griffith Show, uh, USMC, and a few other shows. Uh, my grandpa actually has a autograph photo that I believe my great grandma got from from either writing him or in person many years ago. Uh, these are the photos I sent. He did not sign them, so that's all right. I'm super happy to add it. I wasn't sure if that was going to work or not because it'd been out for longer than the other person that got him back. So I thought maybe uh, he's not signed anymore. So that is really awesome. Uh, love it. So. Thanks, Mr. Neighbors. So that's it, guys. That's my mail day. Maybe I'll have some more TTNs for you tomorrow. Talk to you guys all later. Bye.